What's up everyone, Daniel here, and it's time to review Narcos Season 2, Episode 2, Spoiler Review. Make sure you have seen the episode, should take me about two minutes to recap it, then I'll give you the pros, cons, and final score. Thanks so much for joining me. So first off, Pablo's singing in the shower out loud, he actually has a really good voice. While that's going on, there's a montage of his men going back to the whorehouse from the premiere of Season 2, where they kill all of them because there was a snitch within one of the whores. So Pablo's playing a game afterwards with his son, he's like, how do you pause this? So, he, you know, at least he's spending a little time with his son. Lamont's friend cannot be trusted. So the thing is, Lamon got his friend Maritza to do this job, and she didn't know, you know, she just accepted and everything, and well, now that she knows about Pablo Escobar and everything and that whole thing there, she's going to have to die. We're going to have to go kill her and everything, so only one left to kill. They killed all the whores, and then, like, we got to get Maritza. So Pablo does this interview. We find out that the district, district attorney supports legalizing drugs. Wow, congratulations, sir. Uh, and Kika is going in Maritza's apartment. And so Limon's there, and Limon is Maritza's friend. So he ends up finding her under the bed because she's hiding. He doesn't say anything to... Um, Kika, he, or Kika, he doesn't say anything like, hey, over here, he ends up put, putting the sheets back down, so he's like, you know, not gonna hurt you or anything. They end up leaving, so that was a bust, so she was under the bed, of course. Pablo gets a new toilet, because in the beginning, he went to go pee, and he had a sucky toilet, because he's in this new home now, since he was driven away from his home from the season finale last year, so he ends up getting, like, this golden lined toilet, which is very fancy, sir, very fancy, yet you're full of shit. So that happens. The cops end up raiding Pablo's house. They escape through a tunnel. They, uh, they're always two steps ahead, man. They're always two steps ahead. We got these rats everywhere and all these things, man. So they end up contacting Pablo. They end up escaping, going through the tunnel. They go to this new house and Pablo's men attack the Colombian police. Many are injured. Now on to the pros and cons. So like I said earlier, Pablo Escobar has a really good singing voice, man. He went out loud. He went all for it, man. Uh, While well, that's going on, of course, the whores are getting killed and everything. And I forgot how brutal the show actually gets. I mean, I really enjoyed season one. I thought it was a good, you know, good season. And it was a big shocker for me. I didn't actually expect it to be that good. And it was. And the thing is, I just forgot how much brutal and how intense it is. And they're not afraid to show the brain splatter everywhere. So, I mean, you feel bad for the women. I mean, because they weren't the snitches. So it was a really good opening for uh, episode two. And since we're talking about Brutal, of course the ending where all of Pablo's men just massacre a bunch of these cops in public. Even though it's a very intense scene to watch and it's sad that they're getting massacred, I do love how it shows Pablo's dominance over this city. As always, for every episode, I love it when they show the real footage. Also, I forgot to mention during the review, there was this tip line bit where if people see anything about Pablo Escobar, anything related to him, they call the Colombian police this tip line. And uh, even Pablo's men were just calling the police just to fuck with them. So I love that. You know, even though this seems very predictable with Limon not dragging his friend out under the bed, he ended up keeping her safe and like, oh, she's not here. They end up leaving the apartment and she's fine. That was a very good scene. You know, I'm happy that Limon didn't do that to Maritza. Now, at the point of recording this review, I have already finished Season 2. So, while the cops were raiding Pablo's house this episode, it does kind of get repetitive. Actually, I'll say a lot of episodes, there's a lot of raiding Pablo's stuff. So, it does kind of get repetitive. But this one, it was, it was fine. You know, it's not the best out of Season 2 of the raiding. But for this one, it's fine. Hey, they got the toilet. Especially with a district attorney that's like 80 years old who wants to legalize drugs. During this episode, there were also three characters that were introduced, and I believe Chris Cooper is the actor's name. He plays Arthur, who is like the head of the embassy there in Colombia, and that's the thing I said with the premiere as well, as Narcos has always done that, where there's a lot of characters, and even I write the characters' names down, and it's still hard to jumble around. These characters, I did not care about. Maybe Messina gets better during the season, but there's another character named Bill and everything, and he looks like he belongs in a show with, with adults women and everything. He doesn't, he's still out of place. He looks like a, a comedian I know on one, two, three. Now, during this episode, there were three characters that were introduced. I believe one of the actors' name is Chris Cooper. Uh, he plays Arthur, who was like the head of the United States Embassy there for the United States Division. Oh, 
I do not like these characters. They bored me. Honestly, these are the parts where they just really bore me. And even Pablo and his men have more interesting stuff during this episode than what Javier and Murphy has. So just like the premiere, Pablo wins again with having the best scenes. I love how this episode goes back to its brutal core and Pablo's dominance. It shows you how powerful he still is. You don't cross a man. Snitches get stitches. So overall, I'm giving Narcos Season 2, Episode 2, titled Kalambachi, a solid B. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys thought about the episode. I'd love to hear your thoughts. You can share this with your friends and hit that subscribe button for more. The Road to 500 has begun. As well, if you want to know what I thought about Narco Season 1, my playlist is in the description down below, as well as my playlist for Season 2. So when all my reviews are out for Season 2, you can check along with them. Again, hit subscribe button. A lot of shows I'm reviewing over the next few months. Over 43 for you. So, thanks. Love you all. Watch Narcos. Tell your friend to watch it, man. Pablo Escobar is the man. Bye-bye.